Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Farquhar Auditorium at the University of Victoria. My name is Jeremy Brownridge, and I'm Private Secretary to Her Honour, the Honourable Janet Austin, Lieutenant Governor of British Columbia. And on behalf of Her Honour and the Honourable John Horgan, Premier, welcome to this ceremony during which the Premier and new members of the Executive Council of the Government of British Columbia will be reaffirmed and installed in office. These proceedings are rich in the tradition of our constitutional monarchy. For everyone at home, ladies and gentlemen, everyone, would you please join me in welcoming Her Honour, the Honourable Janet Austin, Lieutenant Governor of British Columbia, and the Honourable John Horgan, Premier of British Columbia. Uh -huh. Thank you so much, Christine Sam of the Songhees Nation for, for, for providing this traditional drum welcome song. I'm now delighted to introduce Ishold Welby to sing the national anthem virtually. Oh, Canada. Thank you so much, Isold. I'm now truly honoured to introduce Norman Gary Sam from the Songhees Nation to deliver a territorial acknowledgement virtually. It's great to see him. The next night, so Quilipton, to Salea, to at the Quangan. Haichka Quinsene, Techa, the Quangan Tango. Hello, everybody. First of all, I'm introducing myself as to Quilipton. That is my traditional name and my honour to carry. My English given name is Norman Gary Sam and I'm an elected councillor for Songhees Nation. And it is my great honour to be here to welcome each and one of you here today to the traditional territories of the Lekwunga people. It is also important to acknowledge the relationship with my Kwasaitnich family, who share a relationship to the lands of the University of Victoria. It's much, just much to say, haichika siyam. Thank you so much, Norman Gary Sam. Um, Premier, you may be seated. Uh, I acknowledge with respect the Lekwungen peoples on whose traditional territory the university stands, and particularly the Songhees, Esquimalt, and Wasainich peoples, whose long historical relationships with the land continue to this day. This ceremony would normally be held at Government House. However, due to the extensive health and safety upgrades currently be under, being undertaken at the House, we're very grateful to be here at the university this year. As a direct representative of the Queen of Canada, the Lieutenant Governor will now reaffirm and install new members of the Executive Council. 
Firstly, Her Honour will re-administer the oaths of allegiance, of office and of confidentiality to the Premier to continue as First Minister, Premier of British Columbia and the President of the Executive Council. Once the Premier has reaffirmed his oaths, Her Honour will install the new members selected for the Executive Council and reaffirm those members continuing as members of the Executive Council. Premier Horgan will then announce their portfolios as they appear on the screen. But before we start with the oaths, I would now like to call upon Her Honour, the Honourable Janet Austin, Lieutenant Governor of British Columbia, to provide her remarks. Uh, thank you, Jeremy, and, and thank you, uh, thank you, Bobby Plekis, um, Premier Horgan, uh, Ministers Designate, uh, Mr. Norman Gary Sam, and Ms. Christine Sam of the Songhees Nations, and special guests. I too would like to acknowledge, with respect, the history, wisdom, and culture of the Lekwungen peoples on whose traditional territory we gather today, and the Songhees, Esquimalt, and Hussainich peoples whose historical relationships with the land continue. Thanks also to Mr. Norman Gary Sam uh, for the gift of a traditional welcome. Today's swearing in ceremony will look a little bit different than in past years for two reasons. First, as you heard, we're gathered here in the far car uh, at, um, auditorium of the University of Victoria due to the renovations currently underway at Government House where this ceremony would normally be held. Second, there are only a few of us present in person due to, the, of course, to the COVID-19 requirements, which have changed so much about how we live our daily lives. We are fortunate, however, to be able to webcast today's ceremony so that British Columbians around the province can share in this historic occasion. While it is true that COVID-19 has forced us apart in many ways through physical distancing and restrictions on events and gatherings, it has also brought us closer together and challenged us to find new ways to connect and care for one another. This time has brought the renewal of old connections, the strengthening of new ones, and many unfettered expressions of friendship and affection. I have been inspired by the acts of kindness and generosities demonstrated by so many British Columbians. Deeply moved by the selfless work of our health care and essential service workers, and by the competence of our public health leaders who engage us as a community and keep us hopeful, positive, and together. And by the humanity of those who house and care for our most vulnerable citizens. I'm so very grateful for the teachers who educate our children, for the workers and businesses, large and small, and in all sectors, who keep our economy functioning and supply us with the goods and services we need. We know better now how to value the unheralded work of all the people upon whom we rely, those who go quietly about their daily tasks without fanfare or acknowledgement. Let us not forget them when this reality has passed from view, as it surely will. Today we reaffirm Premier John Horgan in his role as Head of Government and swear in British Columbians' new Cabinet. As Ministers of the Crown, British Columbians are entrusting to your stewardship the current management of our many challenges and the future of our province. You are called upon to lead us in addressing complex and interrelated challenges of environment, society and economy, in advancing reconciliation and in building a future of shared prosperity for all British Columbians. I have greatly admired the cross-partisan teamwork demonstrated by all members of the Legislative Assembly over the past nine months. And as we emerge from this pandemic, I know that we can continue to rely on you as leaders to build on this spirit of collaboration and cooperation. COVID-19 has altered the very fabric of our society, and there will be long-lasting ramifications for how government delivers services to British Columbians. There is not a single ministry of government that won't need to evolve. 
but we are fortunate to have a professional, nonpartisan, and highly competent public service that is well equipped to support our elected officials through these times. In recent months, our public servants have executed on an urgent basis some absolute feats of public administration for which we owe them a large debt of gratitude. Today, I have the privilege of administering the oaths of office to the members of the Executive Council of British Columbia. But before I proceed, as the Queen's representative and on behalf of all British Columbians, please accept my heartfelt thanks for your devotion to public service and to our province. I have enormous respect for all those who step up to assume the noble but often thankless task of serving an elected office. You will always have my thanks for your leadership and for the many sacrifices that you make for the privilege of serving us. And finally, to all British Columbians, we will get through this time together with some new perspectives and with renewed societal values of compassion, generosity, mutual trust, and respect for our democratic conventions and public institutions. I am thinking of all of you with much love and with gratitude for everything that you do to care for each other. Haichka, merci. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, uh, Your Honour, for those wonderful words. Uh, Your Honour, I would now like to invite you to re-administer the oaths to the 36th Premier of British Columbia, Mr. John Horgan. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> I, Janet Austin, in my capacity as Lieutenant Governor of the Province of British Columbia, do hereby re-administer the oaths of allegiance office and confidentiality to you as President of the Executive Council in this Her Majesty's Province of British Columbia. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me, including your given names and surname. I, John Joseph Horgan. I, John Joseph Horgan. Swear that I will be faithful. Swear that I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance. To Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. To Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Queen of Canada. Queen her, of Canada. Her heirs and successors. Her heirs and successors. So help me God. So help me God. And now the oath of office. I, John Joseph Horgan. I, John Joseph Horgan. Swear that I will serve Her Majesty. Swear that I will serve Her Majesty. Duly and faithfully. Duly and faithfully. And to the best of my ability, and to the best of my ability, fulfill the responsibilities, fulfill the responsibilities, and the trust granted to me, and the trust granted to me, as a member of the Executive Council of British Columbia, as a member of the Executive Council of British Columbia. And now the oath of confidentiality. I, John Joseph Horgan, I, John Joseph Horgan, swear that I will keep confidential, swear that I will keep confidential, all matters dealt with, all matters dealt with in the executive council in the executive council and i will not disclose and i will not disclose any of the same any of the same to any person to any person other than a member of the executive council other than a member of the executive council except as authorized by it except as authorized by it or as required or as required in the lawful discharge of my duties in the lawful discharge of my duties as a member of the executive council as a member of the executive council I hereby declare you duly reaffirmed as President of the Executive Council and Premier of British Columbia. Congratulations, Premier Horgan. Thank you, Your Honour. I invite you to seat, have a seat and sign the oath document. Thank you once again, uh, Your Honour, Premier, and those joining us at home. Appointments to the Executive Council are made by Her Honour upon advice of the Premier. This afternoon, Her Honour will administer the oaths of allegiance or re-administer 
uh, and will also administer the oaths of office and confidentiality uh, to the ministers and ministers designate virtually. Ministers and ministers designate, Her Honor, the Lieutenant Governor, will now administer the oaths following the Premier's introduction. Welcome, Anne Kang, MLA Burnaby Deer Lake. Anne Kang, I invite you to swear or affirm your oaths. Hello, Premier. Hello, Your Honor. I, Anne Kang, swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty, the Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors according to law, so help me God. Anne Kang, swear that I will serve Her Majesty duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability, fulfill the responsibilities and trust granted to me as a member of the Executive Council of British Columbia, so help me God. I, Anne Kang, swear that I will keep confidential all matters dealt within the Executive Council and I will not disclose any of the same to any persons other than a member of the Executive Council except as authorized by it or as required in a lawful discharge of my duties as a member of the Executive Council. So help me God. Congratulations on your appointment to the Executive Council as Minister of Advanced Education, Skills and Training. Your Honor, Premier, I verify my oath is signed. I'm going to take a virtual picture, big smile. Thank you. Welcome, Lana Popham, MLA, Saanich South. Lana Popham, I invite you to swear or affirm your oaths. Thank you. I, Lana Popham, affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty, the Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors according to law. I, Lana Popham, affirm that I will serve Her Majesty duly and faithfully to the best of my ability, fulfill the responsibilities and trust granted to me as a member of the Executive Council of British Columbia. I let a Popham affirm that I will keep confidential all matters dealt with in the Executive Council, and I will not disclose any of the same to any person other than a member of the Executive Council, except as authorized by it, or as required in the lawful discharge of my duties as a member of the Executive Council. Congratulations on your appointment to the Executive Council as Minister of Agriculture, Food and Fisheries. Thank you, Your Honor, Premier. I verify my oath is signed. Congratulations, Minister Popham. Smile. I think the smile doesn't need to be in the script. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Lisa Bear, MLA, Maple Ridge, Pitt Meadows. Lisa Bear, I invite you to swear or affirm your oath. Thank you. I, Lisa Bear, affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty, the Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors, according to law. I, Lisa Bear, affirm that I will serve Her Majesty duly and faithfully, and to the best of my ability, fulfill the responsibilities and trust granted to me as member of the Executive Council of British Columbia. I, Lisa Bear, affirm that I will keep confidential all matters dealt within the Executive Council and I will not disclose any of the same to any person other than a member of the Executive Council, except as authorized by it or is required uh, in the lawful discharge of my duties as member of Executive Council. Congratulations on your appointment to Executive Council as Minister of Citizen Services. Thank you, uh, Your Honour. Thank you, Premier. I verify that my oath has been signed. Congratulations, Minister Baer. Welcome, Mitzi Dean, MLA, Esquimalt Machosen. Thank you. Um, Mitzi Dean, I invite you to swear or affirm your oaths. I, Mitzi Dean, affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty, the Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors according to law. I, Mitzi Dean, affirm that I will serve Her Majesty duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability, fulfill the responsibilities and trust granted to me 
as a member of the Executive Council of British Columbia. I, Mitzi Dean, affirm that I will keep confidential all matters dealt with in the Executive Council, and I will not disclose any of the same to any person other than a member of the Executive Council, except as authorized by it, or as required in the lawful discharge of my duties as a member of the Executive Council. Congratulations on your appointment to the Executive Council as Minister of Children and Family Development. I am Premier and I verify my oath is signed. Congratulations, Minister Dean. And smile. <laughs> Welcome Katrina Chen, MLA Burnaby Lougheed. Katrina Chen, I invite you to swear or affirm your oaths. Thank you, Your Honor and Premier. I, Katrina Chen, affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty, the Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors according to law. I, Katrina Chen, affirm that I will serve Her Majesty duly and faithfully, and to the best of my ability, fulfill the responsibilities and trust granted to me as a member of the Executive Council of British Columbia. I, Katrina Chen, affirm that I will keep confidential all matters dealt with in the Executive Council, and I will not disclose any of the same to any person other than a member of the Executive Council, except as authorized by it, or as required in a law discharge of my duties as a member of the Executive Council. Congratulations on your appointment to the Executive Council as Minister of State for Child Care. Congratulations, Minister Chen. Here I verify my oath is signed. Smile. Excellent. Welcome Jennifer Whiteside, MLA New Westminster. Uh, Jennifer Whiteside, I invite you to swear or affirm your oaths. Thank you. I, Jennifer Whiteside, affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen of Canada her heirs and successors according to law. I, Jennifer Whiteside, affirm that I will serve Her Majesty duly and faithfully, and to the best of my ability, fulfill the responsibilities and trust granted to me as a member of the Executive Council of British Columbia. I, Jennifer Whiteside, affirm that I will keep confidential all matters dealt with in the, the Executive Council, and I will not disclose any of the same to any person other than a member of the Executive Council, except as authorized by it or as required in the lawful discharge of my duties as a member of the Executive Council. Congratulations on your appointment to Executive Council as Minister of Education. Thank you, uh, Premier, Your Honour. I verify that my oath is signed. Congratulations, Minister Whiteside. Welcome, Bruce Ralston, MLA Surrey Wally. Uh, Bruce Ralston, I invite you to swear or affirm your oaths. I, Bruce Ralston, affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty, the Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors, according to law. I, Bruce Ralston, affirm that I will serve Her Majesty duly and faithfully, and to the best of my abilities, fulfill the responsibility and trust granted to me as a member of the Executive Council of British Columbia. I, Bruce Ralston, affirm that I will keep confidential all matters dealt with in the Executive Council, and I will not disclose any of the same to any person other than a member of Executive Council, except as authorized by it, or as required in the lawful discharge of my duties as a member of the Executive Council. Congratulations on your appointment to Executive Council as the Minister of Energy and Mines and Low Carbon Innovation and the Minister responsible for the Consular Corps of British Columbia. Thank you for the opportunity to continue to serve the people of British Columbia. I uh, verify that my oath is signed. Congratulations on your appointment. Welcome, George Heyman, MLA, Vancouver, Fairview. Uh, George Heyman, I invite you to swear or affirm your oaths. Thank you, Your Honour and Premier. I, George Heyman, affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty, the Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors, according to law. 
I, George Heyman, affirm that I will serve Her Majesty duly and faithfully, and to the best of my ability, fulfill the responsibilities and trust granted to me as a member of the Executive Council of British Columbia. I, George Heyman, affirm that I will keep confidential all matters dealt with in the Executive Council, and I will not disclose any of the same to any person other than a member of the Executive Council, except as authorized by it, or as required in the lawful discharge of my duties as a member of the Executive Council. Congratulations on your appointment to the Executive Council as Minister of Environment and Climate Change Strategy and the Minister responsible for TransLink. Thank you very much, and I verify that the oath is signed. Congratulations, Mr. Minister Heyman. Welcome, Selena Robinson, MLA, Coquitlam, Ayardville. Minister, uh, Minister, that's a little bit pre uh, preliminary there. Uh, Selena Robinson, uh, please uh, swear or affirm your oath. I, Selena Robinson, affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty, the Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors, according to law. I, Selena Robinson, affirm that I will serve Her Majesty duly and faithfully, and to the best of my ability, fulfill the responsibilities and trust granted to me as a member of the Executive Council of British Columbia. I, Selena Robinson, affirm that I will keep confidential all matters dealt with in the Executive Council, and I will not disclose any of the same to any person other than a member of the Executive Council, except as authorized by it or as required in the lawful discharge of my duties as a member of the Executive Council. Selena, congratulations on your appointment to the Executive Council as Minister of Finance. Thank you, Your Honour, Premier. I verify my oath is signed. I can offer you congratulations, Minister Robinson. Welcome, Katrine Conroy, MLA Kootenai West. Uh, Katrina Conroy, I invite you to swear or affirm your oaths. I, Katrina Conroy, affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty, the Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors, according to law. I, Katrina Conroy, affirm that I will serve Her Majesty duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability, fulfill the responsibilities and trust granted to me as a member of the Executive Council of British Columbia. And I, Katrina Conroy, affirm that I will keep confidential all matters dealt with in the Executive Council and I will not disclose any of the same to any person other than a member of the Executive Council, except as authorized by it or as required in the lawful discharge of my duties as a member of the Executive Council. Congratulations on the, your appointment to the Executive Council as the Minister of Forests, Lands, Natural Resource Operations and Rural Development. Thank you, Your Honour, Premier, and I verify my oath is signed. Congratulations, Minister Conner. Welcome, Nathan Cullen, MLA for Stikine. Nathan Cullen, I invite you to swear or affirm your oath. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Premier. I, Nathan Cullen, affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty, the Queen of England, her heirs and successors according to law. I, Nathan Cullen, affirm that I will serve Her Majesty duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability to fulfill the responsibilities and trust granted to me as a member of the Executive Council of British Columbia. I, Nathan Cullen, affirm that I will keep confidential all matters dealt with in the Executive Council, and I will not disclose any of the same to any person other than a member of the Executive Council, except as authorized by it or as required in the lawful discharge of my duties as a member of the Executive Council. Congratulations on your appointment to the Executive Council as Minister of State for Lands and Natural Resource Operations. Thank you, Premier. Thank you, Your Honour. I verify that my oath is signed. Congratulations, Minister Cullen. Welcome, Adrian Dix, MLA for Vancouver Kingsway. Adrian Dix, I invite you to swear or affirm your oaths.
and then I'll do it again. Okay. I swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty, the Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors according to law. So help me God. I, Adrian Dix, swear that I will serve Her Majesty duly and faithfully, and to the best of my ability, fulfill the responsibility and trust granted to me as a member of the Executive Council of British Columbia. So help me God. I, Adrian Dix, swear that I will keep confidential all matters dealt with in the Executive Council, and I will not disclose any of the same to any person other than a member of the Executive Council, except as authorized by it and as required in the lawful discharge of my duties as a member of the Executive Council. Congratulations on your appointment to the Executive Council as the Minister of Health and Minister Responsible for Francophone Affairs. Thank you, Your Honor. Premier, I verify my oath is signed. Congratulations, Minister Dix. Welcome, Murray Rankin, MLA, Oak Bay, Gordon Head. Murray Rankin, I invite you to swear or affirm your oath. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Premier. I, Murray Rankin, swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty, the Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors, according to law. So help me God. I, Murray Rankin, swear that I will be, I will serve Her Majesty duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability, fulfill the responsibilities and trust granted to me as a member of the Executive Council of British Columbia. So help me God. I, Murray Rankin, swear that I will keep confidential all matters dealt with in the Executive Council, and I will not disclose any of the same to any person other than a member of the Executive Council, except as authorized by it or as required in the lawful discharge of my duties as a member of the Executive Council. Murray, congratulations on your appointment to the Executive Council as Minister of Indigenous Relations and Reconciliation. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Premier. I verify that my oath is signed. Congratulations, Minister Rankin. Welcome, Ravi Kalon, MLA, Delta North. Ravi Kalon, I invite you to swear or affirm your oaths. Good, thank you. I, Ravi Kalon, affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty, the Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors, according to law. I, Ravi Kalon, affirm that I will serve Her Majesty duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability, fulfill the responsibilities and trusts granted to me as a member of the Executive Council of British Columbia. I, Ravi Kellan, affirm that uh, I will keep confidential all matters dealt with in the Executive Council, and I will not disclose any of the same to any person other than a member of the Executive Council, except as authorized by it or as required in lawful discharge of my duties as a member of the Executive Council. Congratulations on your appointment to the Executive Council as Minister of Jobs, Economic Recovery and Innovation. Thank you, uh, Premier. Thank you, Your Honour. And I verify my oath is signed. Congratulations, Minister Callon. Welcome, George Chow, MLA, Vancouver, Fraserview. Um, George Chow, I invite you to swear or affirm your oaths. Thank you, Premier. Thank you, Your Honour. I will affirm my oath. I, George Chow, affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty, the Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors, according to law. I, George Chow, affirm that I will serve Her Majesty duly and faithfully, and to the best of my ability, fulfill the responsibility and trust granted to me as a member of the Executive Council of British Columbia. I, George Chow, affirm that I will keep confidential all matters dealt with in the Executive Council, and I will not disclose any of the same to any person other than a member of the Executive Council, except as authorized by it, or as required in the lawful discharge of my duties as a member of the Executive Council. Congratulations on your appointment to Executive Council, George, as Minister of State for Trade. Thank you, Your Honor, Premier. I verify my oath is signed. 
congratulations on your appointment as Minister of State for Trade. Welcome, Harry Baines, MLA for Surrey Newton. Harry Baines, I invite you to swear or affirm your oaths. I, Harry Baines, affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty, the Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors according to law. I, Harry Baines, affirm that I will serve Her Majesty duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability fulfill the responsibilities and trust granted to me as a member of the Executive Council of British Columbia. I, Harry Baines, affirm that I will keep confidential all matters dealt with in the uh, Executive Council, and I will not disclose any of the same to any person other than a member of the Executive Council, except as authorized by it, or as required in the lawful discharge of my duties as a member of the Executive Council. Congratulations on your appointment to Executive Council as the Minister of Labor. Thank you, you Mr. Premier, and thank you, Your Honor. And I, I verify that my oath is signed. Thank you. Congratulations, Minister Baines. Welcome, Sheila Malcolmson, MLA Nanaimo. Sheila Malcolmson, I invite you to swear or affirm your oath. Premier, Your Honor, uh, from Nanaimo Territory, I, Sheila Malcolmson, swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors, according to law. I, Sheila Malcolmson, swear that I will serve Her Majesty duly and faithfully to the best of my ability, fulfill the responsibilities and trust granted to me as member of the Executive Council of British Columbia. I, Sheila Malcolmson, swear that I will keep confidential all matters dealt within the Executive Council and I will not disclose any of the same to any person other than a member of the Executive Council except as authorized by it or required in lawful discharge of my duties as member of the Executive Council. Congratulations on your appointment to the Executive Council as Minister of Mental Health and Addictions. Thank you, Your Honour, Premier. I verify my oath is signed. Minister Malcolmson. Welcome, Josie Osborne, MLA, Mid-Island, Pacific Rim. Josie Osborne, I invite you to swear or affirm your oath. Thank you, Your Honour, Premier. I, Josie Osborne, affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty, the Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors according to law. I, Josie Osborne, affirm that I will serve Her Majesty duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability fulfill the responsibilities and trust granted to me as a member of the Executive Council of British Columbia. I, Josie Osborne, affirm that I will keep confidential all matters dealt with in the Executive Council and I will not disclose any of the same to any person other than a member of the Executive Council, except as authorized by it or as required in the lawful discharge of my duties as a member of the Executive Council. Congratulations on your appointment to the Executive Council as Minister of Municipal Affairs. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor, Premier. And I verify my oath is signed. Congratulations, Minister Osborne. Welcome, Mike Farnworth, MLA Port Coquitlam. Mike Farnworth, I invite you to swear or affirm your oaths. Thank you, Your Honor, Premier. I, Mike Farnworth, swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty, the Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors according to law, so help me God. I, Mike Farnworth, swear that I will serve Her Majesty duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability fulfill the responsibilities and trust granted to me as a member of the Executive Council of British Columbia, so help me God. I, Mike Farnworth, swear that I will keep confidential all matters dealt with in the Executive Council and I will not disclose any of the same to any person other than a member of the Executive Council, except as authorized by it or as required in the lawful discharge of my duties as a member of the Executive Council, so help me God. 
Congratulations on your appointment to the Executive Council as Minister of Public Safety and Solicitor General. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Premier. And I can authorize, uh, verify my signature has been signed. Congratulations, Minister Farnworth. I welcome Nicholas Simons, MLA Powell River, Sunshine Coast. Nicholas Simons, I invite you to swear or affirm your oaths. Thank you. I, Nick Simons, affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty, the Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors according to law. I, Nick Simons, affirm that I will serve Her Majesty duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability, fulfill the responsibilities and trust granted to me as a member of the Executive Council of British Columbia. I, Nick Simons, affirm that I will keep confidential all matters dealt with in the Executive Council, and I will not disclose any of the same to any person other than a member of the Executive Council, except as authorized by it, or as required in the lawful discharge of my duties as a member of the Executive Council. Congratulations on your appointment to Executive Council as Minister of Social Development and Poverty Reduction. Uh, thank you, Premier, and thank you, Your Honour. Uh, my oath has been signed. C Congratulations, Minister Simons. Welcome, Melanie Mark, MLA, Vancouver, Mount Pleasant. Melanie Mark, I invite you to swear or affirm your oaths. Can't hear you, Mel. Still can't hear you, Mel. Uh, true embarrassment. I apologize for that. Sim get You're good to go. Sigit Amanek, Sigit Wilsick. Your Honor and Premier, I, Melanie Mark, affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors, according to law. I, Melanie Mark, affirm that I will serve Her Majesty duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability, fulfill the responsibilities and trust granted to me as a member of the Executive Council of British Columbia. I, Melanie Mark, affirm that I will keep confidential all matters dealt with in the Executive Council and I will not disclose any of the same to any person other than a member of the Executive Council except as authorized by it or as required in the lawful discharge of my duties as a member of the Executive Council. Congratulations on your appointment to the Executive Council as the Minister of Tourism, Arts, Culture and Sport. Tuxiasm, thank you, Your Honor and Premier. I verify my oath is signed. Congratulations, Minister Mark. Welcome, Rob Fleming, MLA, Victoria Swan Lake. Rob Fleming, I invite you to swear or affirm your oaths. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Premier. I, Rob Fleming, swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty, the Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors, according to law, so help me God. I, Rob Fleming, swear that I will serve Her Majesty duly and faithfully, and to the best of my ability, fulfill the responsibilities and trust granted to me as a member of the Executive Council of British Columbia, so help me God. I, Rob Fleming, swear that I will keep confidential all matters dealt with in the Executive Council, and I will not disclose any of the same to any person other than a member of the Executive Council, except as authorized by it, or as required in the lawful discharge of my duties as a member of Executive Council, so help me God. Congratulations on your appointment to Executive Council as Minister of Transportation and Infrastructure. Thank you, Your Honor and Premier. I verify that my oath is signed. Congratulations, Mr. Fleming. Welcome, Bowen Ma, MLA, Vancouver, Lonsdale. Uh, Bowen Ma, I invite you to swear or affirm your oaths. I, Bowen Ma, affirm that I will serve Her Majesty duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability, fulfill the responsibilities and trust granted to me as a member of the Executive Council of British Columbia. I, Bowen Ma, 
affirm that I will keep confidential all matters dealt with in the Executive Council, and I will not disclose any of the same to any person other than a member of the Executive Council, except as duly authorized by it or as required in the lawful discharge of my duties or as a member of the Executive Council. I, Bowen Ma, affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty, the Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors, according to law. Okay, that's okay. It's fine. We're good with that? Yeah, we're, we got them all in that. there. That's the important thing. Uh, congratulations on your appointment to Executive Council as Minister of State for Infrastructure. And congratulations, Minister Ma. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Premier. I verify my oath is signed. To administer the oaths to the Attorney General, who is here in person because of the tradition of the Great Seal. As with the Great Seal of Canada, the Great Seal of British Columbia signifies the power and authority of the Crown flowing from the Sovereign to our parliamentary government. I'll now turn it over to the Premier to introduce the Attorney General. Uh, welcome, David Eby, MLA, Vancouver, Point Grey. Uh, David Eby. I, Janet Austin, in my capacity as Lieutenant Governor of the Province of British Columbia, do hereby administer the oaths of allegiance, office, and confidentiality to you as a member of the Executive Council in this Her Majesty's Province of British Columbia. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me, including your given names and surname. And we'll start with the oath of allegiance. I, David Robert Patrick Eby. I, David Robert Patrick Eby. Affirm, affirm that I will be faithful, that I will be faithful, and bear true allegiance, and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of Canada, to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors, her heirs and successors, according to law, according to law. Now the oath of office, I, David Robert Patrick Eby, I, David Robert Patrick Eby, affirm, affirm that I will serve Her Majesty that I will serve Her Majesty duly and faithfully duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability and to the best of my ability fulfill the responsibilities fulfill the responsibilities and trust granted to me and trust granted to me as a member of the Executive Council of British Columbia as a member of the Executive Council of British Columbia and finally the oath of confidentiality I David Robert Patrick Eby I David Robert Patrick Eby affirm that I will keep confidential Affirm that I will keep confidential all matters dealt with all matters dealt with in the executive council in the executive council and I will not disclose and I will not disclose any of the same any of the same to any person to any person other than a member of the executive council other than a member of the executive council except as authorized by it except as authorized by it or as required or as required in the lawful discharge of my duties in the lawful discharge of my duties as a member of the Executive Council. As a member of the Executive Council. I hereby declare you duly sworn, uh, duly affirmed as a member of the Executive Council and Attorney General for the Province of British Columbia. Congratulations. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Premier. Congratulations on your appointment uh, to the Executive Council as Attorney General and Minister Responsible for Housing. And Your Honor, I now request that the Attorney General receive from you on behalf of the Crown, the Great Seal of British Columbia. To the safe custody of the Attorney General, I recommit the Great Seal of the Province of British Columbia. Thank you, Your Honor. So I think we proceed <clears throat> to the family photograph yeah. here. Yeah. You want me to stay here? I declare you all duly affirmed 
reaffirmed and appointed as ministers and members of the Executive Council of British Columbia. Thank you all. I would now like to call upon the Honourable John Horgan, Premier of British Columbia, to give his remarks. Thank you, Jeremy, Your Honour. I want to thank Gary and Christine Sam for starting us off in a good way here on the traditional territory of the Lekongan speaking people, the Esquimals and Songhees First Nations. I want to say welcome and congratulations to our new cabinet as we go forward to address the challenges British Columbia faces today, in the days ahead, and in the years ahead. These are extraordinarily difficult times for all of us. Families across British Columbia are struggling with the burdens of a pandemic now in its ninth month, with little chance of that uh, receding in the short term. But we are buoyed by the good news of vaccines on the way, but until then, we have to continue to do our level best to keep the second wave of COVID-19 under control and prepare for the new year. I believe the only way we're gonna get through this is by following the good science and positive advice from public health officials and working together, families, communities, cities, regions, and the, in fact, the entire province to care for one, of, one another, to be kind, to be safe, and to ensure that we treat everyone with the respect and dignity they deserve. This is a virus. It does not know economic status. It does not know race, creed, or color. It is a virus, and it affects us all equally. To date, 371 British Columbians have lost their lives to COVID-19, we need to continue to redouble our efforts to ensure that we can keep that number as low as possible in the days and weeks and months ahead. Those sworn in today reflect the diversity and dynamism and resilience of British Columbia, shared experience of peoples from around the province. Joining me at the cabinet table are 24 individuals, 12 men and 12 women. With them will be 13 parliamentary secretaries working hard to address the challenges British Columbians face in their daily lives. Each one of them committed to making sure that we leave British Columbia better than we found it by focusing on the enormous potential of all British Columbians to do their part to make British Columbia a robust and vibrant economy that focuses on the things that matter to families and people. It's a humbling opportunity to be the Premier of British Columbia for a second term. I am honoured to have the privilege of taking on this responsibility with a renewed cabinet and a renewed caucus and a renewed legislature. I look forward, as Honourable uh, Austin has suggested, to work with all British Columbians and all members of the legislature, regardless of where you live, regardless of how people voted. We have been successful over the past nine months because we have worked together I recommit myself to my colleagues in the legislature and to all British Columbians to keep in mind every single day the importance of the work that we need to do on your behalf, always ensuring that we're providing better services and quality services, in fact, to people wherever they may leave, wherever they may live, pardon me. These opportunities and challenges are daunting, but I believe working together we can get to where we want to be. That means working towards a better future by addressing climate change. That means working towards eliminating racism and building equality wherever we may go. That means advancing reconciliation with Indigenous peoples, and that means making sure that we build a recovery that includes everyone. I have focused through my 15 years in the legislature on doing what I can for my neighbours, for my community, and as a member of the Executive Council, doing what I can do for all British Columbians. I believe my colleagues joining me today with the swearing in that we've done this morning or this afternoon here at the, uh, the University of Victoria are committed to making sure that we make lives better for people. We make sure that the services that they depend on, whether it be healthcare, education, childcare, seniors care, are there. People are getting the services they need wherever they may live. That means protecting essential services like schools and childcares and hospitals. It means making sure that businesses can operate safely and that workers can work in an environment that keeps them safe and provides them with a living wage. It means that we face these challenges together. 
It means that all British Columbians, regardless of where they live, regardless of how they vote, regardless of their age or economic status, can have confidence that the government of British Columbia is getting up every day and focusing on them. We're going to be getting up every day and making sure that the challenges that you face are the challenges that we're trying to address. We'll get up every day to make sure that what you need in your community, whether it's Prince George or Pooskupi or Penticton, are being provided as best as we can possibly do that. I want to commend the professional public service for the work that they have done over the past nine months, putting themselves on the line as healthcare workers have done, as other essential workers have done. Without sacrifices like that, British Columbia would not be in the position we are today. We need to make sure that we think of each other each and every day. We need to make sure that the respect that we expect for each other is given out to those that we come across. There are significant challenges ahead. We all acknowledge and recognize that. Those challenges will be made easier if we do it together. I grew up playing team sports. Sometimes I was the best player on the team, sometimes I was the last player picked. But every time I got into a game, every time I got up to do what I could with my colleagues, I put everything I did, I could into it. I know my cabinet's going to do that. I know that the members of the legislature are going to do that. And I know British Columbians expect nothing less. Honorable Janet Austin, thank you for your time today, swearing in a new government for a new challenge. COVID-19 is with us. Let's defeat it. Let's go into 2021 with renewed enthusiasm for the prospects of what we as British Columbians can accomplish. Heiska Osia. Thank you so much, Bobby. Thank you, Premier, for those wonderful remarks. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, everyone, folks at home, that concludes the formalities this afternoon here at the wonderful University of Victoria. And uh, as we often do at Government House, we'll conclude the ceremony uh, by the playing of the Royal Anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for joining us today on this historical occasion. Be well.